Yo soy Cody. Yo soy Carlos. En esta semana de WX4, tenemos Sarah Sunica. Wow, muchas gracias. Oh, Good job, thank guys. Thank you. No, Perfect Spanish. We did it. You barely made it through Good it. Stuff. You said three words in Spanish. Well, welcome to the show, Sarah. Thank Pleasure you for having me. You. Nice Good to meet you guys. We're going to go straight into the question jar. Can't question. wait. What if I pick the wrong one? Just kidding. <laughs> Have you ever owned a record player? Mm. Yes, I currently own one. Do you? I do. And oh, right awesome. now, there is an Etta James record on there. Really? Yeah. Nice. When did when you get that? Uh, I got it at Wuxtry maybe like a month ago. Nice. Awesome. So, when so I'm you high record shop? Yeah, yeah, but only like records that I like every song because I have Spotify. I'm a big I like Spotify and mm -hmm. iTunes, but if I like a record that er, like every song on them like Fleetwood Mac, right. like I got Fleetwood Mac and Etta James. Nice. Um, Would you consider you getting your own record pressed? I would love that. Yeah, I love that. When we all they're real expensive. Yeah. Well, there's so, one now in Athens, isn't there? Well, there's Kindercore that right. is now can do it for you, which yeah. saves us all on shipping. Mm -hmm. But um, I've heard of splitting a forty-five with the, like another person. Oh really? Yeah, it's <laughs> like you get a, the A side or the B side, or cool. you know. Stairs and you and uh, you know find somebody and split. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Actually, yeah. um, I played a show in Washington D.C. It's the Songbird Cafe, and they have I don't even know what it's called, but it's like this old machine that makes. Like, it like presses small, records. It presses a really yeah. small one. It's like a minute. Mm -hmm. And I actually did my song that I'm singing, A Heart of Mine, um, on it. And it wow, sounds like cool. super old. And, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Actually, this year is um, the year that I debuted my first album, which okay. is really exciting. And it's it's weird to think it's it was earlier this year in February. What's the name um, of it? It's called Someday Soon. Okay. And it's an album about hope. You know, I hope, and that sounds so cheesy, but it, but it really is just kind of like, kind of, um, but an, a realistic Did take. Did you bring any? <laughs> huh? Did you bring any? Soon? Any hope? No. <laughs> oh, I thought you were no. being. I thought you Did were you being. Did you bring like... any hope to the record? No. I mean, did you bring any of the actual records or CDs? Yeah, I, I have some. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. we would love to showcase it. Oh yeah, sure. It yeah, I have some. And show it to them. And cool. on a jump cut. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> so what is this? What's going on here? So this is my album, Someday Soon. Um, the picture was taken by my cousin. He's a photographer in New York, Tito. Uh -huh. And um, I wanted to have, like, it's like a, you know, I grew I'm from New York City, so this is actually taken underneath the Brooklyn Bridge, but I've got that plaid on because well, I grew up in, in, I grew up on a farm here in Georgia. So that's what it looks like. Um... It's made out of uh, recycled paper. Oh, yeah. You said nice. something cool was made. The, yeah. The actual CD paper. is what? Made then, out of recycled what? Oh, no. The CD that's cover. recycled yeah, paper. Yeah, that'd be cool <laughs> if this was. I was like, how could a CD be made out of recycled <laughs> paper? Magic. That's new. No, but um, no. Okay. The, the actual, I don't know if you can see it, but the lyrics that are on there mm -hmm. is actually a picture of the first time I wrote this song called Always You, which I wrote it for my brother. So okay. it's actually a picture of the first time I, I wrote okay. it. Okay, and special. they put that on the packaging. Yeah. You know? Where'd you record this at? I recorded this album at Venerate Studios in Snellville with my friend Justin mm -hmm. Daniel. Oh, it's really? Cool. I know Justin. You know Justin? Yeah, yeah, I've known Justin for yeah. years. Uh, no, I don't think okay. you would. No, but hey, Justin, if you're hey, watching. <laughs> Uh, so you were nominated for something, right? What's going on there? Yeah, um, this year I was nominated for um, Singer Songwriter of the Year for Flagpole. Really? Yeah, for Athens. Yeah, awesome. it's very very cool. That is great. Yeah. And you also got nice. to play main stage. Yeah, at of Fest. the fest. Yeah, at the fest. That How was, was that? that was such a cool cool experience for myself and for the band. Mm -hmm. You know, to play at fest. It was very hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, so there yeah. was, when we looked out into the audience, like, there was a lot of people there, but everyone was hiding underneath the trees, yeah. tents, anything mm -hmm. that they could have, and the sun was, like, shining directly on us, and it was awesome, because you feel more like a rock star when you're sweating. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, when oh, you're yeah. sweating, and it's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm yeah. working hard. 15 seconds to a uh, song, I'm like that. Yeah. Was this uh, the first time you played at this? First time, So yeah. you played main stage right off the bat. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. I know. It's very, very cool. And I... And the thing is, like, growing up 
in Athens. Athfest is always like Athfest is the coolest mm-hmm. thing ever, you know. Yeah. So that was a nice experience. And um, I told you guys this earlier, but a fly flew into my mouth, <laughs> which was a first for my stage performances. And you say it's called on camera or something. That right? yeah yeah Georgia Southern University said they uh, they were filming the event and. Um, and the funny thing is, like, I'm, I I tried so hard to recover, but imagine, but I started coughing, because imagine a bug flying into your mouth. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the performance, I was like, ah, there's no way to hide this. A bug flew into my mouth. I messed up. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so you publicly announced you I ate a bug. Not- Charlie, put so. the CD down and no, stop I'm just looking. reading song titles. <laughs> People do crazy things for People love. People do crazy things for love. Um, is this or sometimes on they put up with a lot of stuff for love, and right? and yes, that's, and that's the crazy exactly thing, what it is. Yeah. You put up with mm-hmm. a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. and it's like, and that's that's exactly what the whole song is about. It's saying, is that love? Like, if someone's telling you that they love you, but they're treating you badly, mm-hmm. yeah. is it love? And and you're also allowing that to happen. Do you love them if they're allowing someone to treat you badly? Like, it's just. It's such a strange concept to me. Yeah. Yeah. But that's on Spotify and, that's and on the Spotify, rest of yeah. the streaming services. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. I watched a video of yours for something. What was that? It was on your website, I'm pretty sure. It was, was filmed it downtown, like you're walking downtown Athens. Oh, and... yeah. yeah. That's the official like Pathways pre- music video. Yeah, that looked like a real video. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that tell was, us about that. Yeah, that was filmed um, by my friend uh, Jason Bray. Mm-hmm. He's a film student at UGA. Mm-hmm. And he needed a class project, yeah. and I needed a music video, so it was like, let's work I've together. I've done that with some guys before. Yeah. Not me, but I've hooked up some film school guys so yeah. you you had your film school guy and then what y'all do yeah and then and then i was like you know what pathways is about it's about searching for that next step um specifically for me it's that the music industry mm-hmm. like trying to get out there trying to be accomplished successful mm-hmm. um <clears throat> and it's saying how sometimes you can take like you know 10 solid steps and then you go back 15 like right. that's <laughs> it's like that sometimes so that's what it's about and i thought it would be very special to film it downtown Athens and right. we actually filmed a lot of it in that alley between Max Canada and right. Trapeze like that little I was trying to figure out what, which one that was because I, yeah. I, I, I recognized Wuck Street and, and some other spots mm-hmm. but I was like which alley is that I know it's and one in the corner where five guys used to be yeah right There's yeah that. yep I saw that and you play, yep. when we I actually wanted to do it last minute I was like I want to do slow-mo singing I thought of the scientist by Coldplay. Uh, yeah. Oh I, gosh, don't get us started on it. It's one of my favorite songs. Oh, and he, we just like, had a debate last right, week well, over this song. We can talk about. Let's it get some beers but, okay. and listen to it. <laughs> cry a little bit. <laughs> okay, the scientist. Um, so, what do you have to do to do the slow motion video? Right. So, so I quickly googled it, and I was like, because I I love videography. It's yeah. A, it's another it one is. of my past times. It's, it's really it? beautiful. And I was like researching real quick, and you have to speed it up. And I forgot the exact, but you have to speed up the song, and then sing it that fast, right. and then, and then in post production like. Them. So I was pretty much mm. rapping my song, mm-hmm. yeah, which um, d- sounded so bad, and I- I'd love to see the behind the scenes for that. But it sounded so <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah, the, f- the regular speed. Yeah, of, like, it sounded <laughs> so bad, but it yeah. came out. <laughs> it came out nice. Do you have a band? Yes. So you have a band. What? Wh- who's in your band, or, or like what? Like I got a guitar, I got a bass. I yeah. Got a, so what? so right now, um, Adam Smith, my good friend, we, we know Adam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He plays a guitar and bass, mm-hmm. and then Jason Parnell on drums. Okay. Three okay. Piece. Yeah, three pieces. And um, it's on and off with, you know, guitar and guitars, just because schedules are really difficult. Yeah. But I'm very, very, very lucky to be able to perform with my friends. So the video that we were talking about is on your website, which is what? SarahZunigaMusic.com. SarahZunigaMusic.com. All right, and your Instagram and all of that. What are the handles on there? So yeah, pretty much everything is Sarah Zuniga Music. Awesome. Yeah, okay, that's your Facebook handle. Facebook. dot com slash Sarah Zuniga Music. Instagram is at Sarah Zuniga Music. So to close it out, is there anything you want to say about the song you performed today, Heart of Mine? Yeah, Heart of Mine is um, the new single that I, I just released, and um, it's a very special song to me because I have been feeling a little bit of. Um, you know, writer's block, and sometimes you feel like I'm never going to be able to write another song again. Mm-hmm. And that heart of mine came out of kind of feeling 
anxious about that. And mm-hmm. actually, Heart of Mine is about anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um, dealing, like, how, how you think about things. When you're dealing with anxiety, how you think about love, relationships, your own career, your own pursuits. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's one of the most authentic songs I've written because it's not just about my opinion on something. Like Pathways, This New Road, a lot of songs on this album, it's about my opinions on things, Mm -hmm. which represents that part of my life, like that that section of my life. But Heart of Mine is my actual mentality of who I am as a person, you know? And so I think that's a very... It used to be very scary to perform, but then um, that's another cool thing with performing with the band. It makes things a little bit easier to perform. Well, they carry carry some of the load. Yeah, exactly. You share it, so... Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming out thank here, you. Sarah. Oh, come here. Great to have you. Yeah, it was nice. Okay. Yeah, you. good, good having you here. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, up next is Sarah Zuniga's performance of Heart of Mine. Next week, same place, same time. It is Stay.